This is Adventist World Radio Ghana. Voice of Hope. A-W-R Ghana. Voice of Hope. Voice of hope. magazine and under this segment we have reflections youth corner and moment of truth i am kojo and sedu and i'm presenting this with hannah b nyakun how are you doing today hannah i'm doing well and you i'm doing well as well i hope dear listener you enjoy our programs stay tuned Ghana, voice of hope voice of very much you are the savior with the spiritual touch praise you praise your holy name since you touched my life i've never been the same well in my darkness you are my light painting confusion you guide me all right sing sweet jesus you are the christ and in my blindness you're such a beautiful sight Thank you, thank you very much. You are the Savior with the spiritual touch. Praise you, praise your holy name. Since you touched my life, I've never been the same. Well, in my darkness, you are my light. Pain and confusion, you guide me all right. I sing sweet Jesus, you are the Christ. And in my blindness, you're such a beautiful sight. Thank you, thank you.
but it does not mean that it is fixed. For example, that prayer, as is recorded, is not what we call the lost. The lost prayer is what is in uh, John 17. But that is a disciple's prayer. And like Gloria is saying, indeed, when Jesus was going to pray, he did not follow those. It's not mandatory that you should follow those ones. We teach probably people who are new converts that do it this way. But as you grow, the spirit perfects it for you. And then you know how to do it as the spirit leads you. Mm. So it's not become like a fix or one way. Okay, so no rigid approach necessarily to how the format is supposed to be there. But ask, seek, knock. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek, you find, knock and it shall be open to you. Of course, there are several verses in the Bible. Uh, for instance, the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much and so on and so forth. Uh, which sometimes perhaps creates the impression that you only have to pray. And once you pray, God will answer. That brings me to the question, do you have to pray about a particular situation or something more than once? Or once you pray about it once, you know and rest assured that it has been answered? That is one of the questions that the world is always called to answer and people approach it differently. If you remember in the story of Daniel, when he got into the 21 days of fasting and prayer, at the end, the Bible said that the very day that he began to pray, his prayer was heard in heaven. But why did it take 21 days for the angel to bring actually the report or the request of Daniel? The moment you begin to pray, that very moment, your prayer actually is recorded. Now, you got to be very persistent in what you ask. Because God is a serious God. You must show that seriousness. And the time between what you ask and when you receive it depends on your faith. Because faith is the only condition, the only thing that claims the promises of